Hallo zusammen und willkommen auf dem Laco YouTube Kanal. Zu Hello everyone and welcome to the Laco YouTube Channel for a new talk in our video series. You might know the feeling of seeing a watch that you really, really like. And then, when you start thinking about it, you think, hmm, personally, I'd have done something differently here and there. So how you can customize your own pilot watch is what we will talk about after the intro. A new talk, which means I am not alone. Today, sitting next to me is Sarah Ruhmann from the LACO marketing team. Welcome, Sarah. Hello. I'm glad you came. So, sometimes it can take quite a while to find the right watch. The ideal would be an individually customized pilot watch that's exactly how you would imagine it. And that's what the LACO team thought as well when they came up with the Flieger Pro series. How did that actually come about? Well, LACO is a small company and therefore customer feedback is always very important to us. We are always on the road at a lot of trade fairs. People visit us in Pforzheim in the manufacturing department, in the showroom, write to us on social media and so on, and then also provide their comments on our watch models. And we often get the feedback from customers that they thought our original pilots were great, but then had little things that were not to their liking. For example, customers need the date, which the original pilot watches don't have. Customers want a logo on the dial, which the original pilot watches also don't have. Or, as our fans know, the original series has a proportionally smaller case than the observation watches from the 1940s. And they had straight lugs, which, let's be honest, aren't all that ergonomic. What customers also said was that the case was almost too original and they would prefer to have something a little more subtle on their wrist. And that's why we came up with the idea, adapted the case a bit and created various options. In other words, a pilot watch with LACO DNA and a personality of its own. One might even say tailor-made for your own wrist. So, which historical pilot watch elements have been preserved in the Flieger watch series then? Well, as you just said, the most important thing really is the DNA that all pilot watches have. Both the entry-level series, which is our pilot watch basic series, and the pilot watch original series. And that is of course what we wanted to do for the Flieger Pro series too. If you hold the watches next to each other, depending on the configuration, and especially the original and the Pro, at first glance you might not see the difference at all. It really is a LACO watch. It's a pilot watch. There's the same case finish, but there's also another one. The watch is robust, precise, easy to read. Just the way it was supposed to be in the cockpit back then. Yes, exactly. Okay, so we've heard a few things that they have in common. What are the differences between the original pilot and the Flieger Pro watches? So, customers kept coming up to us time and again saying that they needed a date, for example. They would have preferred to have the logo on the dial. That's why customers have so many options to customize the watch according to their wishes. Another difference are the technical features, such as the shape of the case, which is more ergonomic now. Not quite as much modeled after the observation watches from the 1940s, but rather with rounded lugs. It just makes for a better fit. So a bit more modern, made for day-to-day -day life. The two basic models that we can customize are Karlsruhe and Stuttgart Pro, which in part contains historical features of a pilot watch. But modern contemporary elements can be added. Let's take a closer look at those now, Zara. Let's start with the dial. Here we also have the choice between a Model A and a Model B, but we can add something onto that. Correct. So, again, you have a choice between Karlsruhe and Stuttgart, between A and B. In addition, there's the option of adding the logo or even the Made in Germany lettering to the dial or to keep it really clean, just like the original series. Without logo, without Made in Germany, really just focused on the dial itself. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned that a date display can be added. Here, again, two different colors are possible, correct? Just like you just said, to be added, because customers can also choose not to add one. If they don't want it, or don't need it, or if they want the date at 3 o'clock, then we have two options. Light date or dark date. The dark one is a little more restrained, not quite as noticeable. 
The light one is a little easier to read, and it should also be mentioned here that the light one is not white, so it's not standard. But instead, we wanted it to match the superluminova in terms of color, so that it is adapted and didn't stand out too much. What's remained the same are the hands, which are also typical frame hands, like on the original pilots, right? Absolutely. The hands are the only element of the watch that we've kept unchanged from the original series. They're classic pilot watch hands. Let me show it to you here. That's right. You brought us lots of watches where we can see that very well. The edge is slightly bluish because they are thermally blued, and the inside is covered with Superluminova. Superluminova C3 which shines for a very long time at night. Correct, the color is relatively bright during the day, but at night it really glows green, which is traditional for pilot watches and makes it really easy to read that way. When I look at the surface of the case, I see that it is blasted in matte grey, like the original pilot watches. But we could also choose another variant, right? I've brought you some watches here, including an original one from the original series. You can see in the comparison that the case finish is the same as on the observation watches from the 1940s. And alternatively, there is also the brushed surface, which is a completely different look. So there is no right or wrong. Everyone gets to choose and just take the look, the case finishing, surface, just the way he likes. When I look at the watches, I see we have various sizes in the Pro Series. What diameter sizes can we choose from here? Well, we have three diameters here. They are slightly different from the other pilot watches. We start with 37 millimeters in the smallest version, then the 40 millimeters in the middle, and the largest here is the 43 millimeter diameter version. At this point, I would once again like to draw your attention to the LACO size guide. Some people may be unsure about which diameter size to choose. So please have a look at the website if you're not sure. Here on my wrist, I have a size 40. And I have to emphasize again that pilot watches are worn differently. Our advice is to opt for a larger diameter rather than a smaller one. So bigger rather than smaller. Correct. The two different dials also look completely different, so you can't really compare Model A and Model B, because with the Model B, there's just a lot more going on. Based on that, the sizes also look different. And if you're unsure, like you said, it's best to go up a size or just try it on. That is at one of our dealers or directly at our company in Pforzheim. We are also on the road at trade fairs from time to time, so feel free to approach us there and try on the watches on site. But there's still more to be said about the case, there are still some other aspects worth mentioning. That always helps. The Pro Series has been developed entirely according to customer wishes or together with the customers. So we've really been gathering feedback on that one. And an important factor for customers always is that the watch be waterproof. Our original pilots have water resistance of up to 10 ATM, which is already good. But due to the true to the original pressure curve, more is simply not possible. We have now increased that to 20 ATM. How is that possible? Technically, I mean. The back is not simply pressed in like on the original pilot watches, because historically that's the way it was done back then. Here we made some technical changes and used a screw in case backing, and the crown is also screwed down. However, water resistance is only guaranteed if we really screw the crown down tightly. That means pressing on it very carefully and then screwing it down tightly. So every time the watch is reset, just push it back in, screw it down, and then it's waterproof again. Let's remain with the back for a moment. When I turn the watch over, I see a crystal back. Are there other options? A closed bottom would also be possible, so completely closed, which would be more authentic to the original pilot watches. An engraving is also possible, for example. In that case, we have a little more space when the bottom is closed. Underneath, we can see the movement. What options do we have available here? So, first of all, the customer has to make a decision between manual winding and self-winding. There is no right and no wrong. Customers really have to or are allowed to decide based on their preferences. Manual winding is a bit more traditional like the original pilot watches from the 1940s and self-winding has the advantage that it has a rotor, which means it simply winds itself up when worn and doesn't need to be wound up every day. 
Manual winding and screw down crown, how does that work? Yes, we got that question before from our customers because it is not a traditional thing. But our watchmakers have actually spent a lot of thought on this and have added a tiny coupling. This means that the customer does not have to be afraid of over tightening it when screwing the crown back down because the coupling ensures that this doesn't happen. What movements do we get to choose from here? Well, as I said, there is either manual winding or self-winding. We only use Swiss Celita movements, which are very high quality and also have the advantage that they can be serviced by any watchmaker or jeweler, or at our facilities. And then we offer two quality levels, which is really a technical difference, either the élaboré or the top. Elaboré is the standard version at LACO. Correct. Well, those were the technical options, but is there anything else to choose from a visual point of view? Yes, and this is specifically true if the customer chooses a crystal bottom. Like with your watch, it's nice to choose a decorated movement. By default, we install a non-decorated movement, but the customer can also opt for a decorated movement. And as you can see with the watch in your hand, there are then various decorative grindings on the movement, as well as thermally blued screws. The case is equipped with sapphire crystal. During configuration, we'll notice that we have several options here as well. Absolutely, it's sapphire crystal, like all the other models. The highest quality standard, super robust. Really, nothing gets to it. We use double domed sapphire crystal here with an internal anti reflective coating by default. But the customer can also add an external anti reflective coating if they would like to. That way, the colors appear even more clearly and the dye looks cleaner. So, a wonderful interplay of the classic elements of a pilot watch with modern technology and even more wearing comfort. We are now getting to our almost final configuration, namely the choice of straps. What straps are available here? Well, currently we have three different straps in the configurator. The dark brown leather strap like the original Flieger series, a black leather strap or, like on the watch you are wearing, a brown vintage leather strap. The special thing about it is that the strap of the watch takes on a patina of its own when you wear it for a long time. So with that I can create even more different looks. Yes, most definitely. Customers can choose what suits their outfit, what they like. All straps in the configurator have these rivets, typical of pilot watches. In addition, customers can also choose from our numerous other straps that can be found on the website. The online configurator offers us a whole lot of options. We have added it all up, and mathematically speaking, there are over 14,000 variations. So there is definitely something for every taste. And the icing on the cake is the personal engraving that makes the Flieger Pro even more unique. How many engravings can we add? Well, that will depend on which configuration the customer has opted for. Generally, with the self-winding models, we can engrave the rotor. At all models, we can engrave the bottom. We only can't engrave the side because there is already the FL engraving on it, which is typical for pilot watches in order to really stick to the Flieger DNA. The first engraving is free of charge and for the second one you pay a small surcharge, correct? Correct. And that way, the watch really does become absolutely unique. And once you're done with the configuration, it is produced individually for you in Pforzheim and will arrive at your home in a very beautiful travel case. This is what it looks like. And as fast as this box just flew in here is hopefully also the delivery time, right? Maybe not quite that fast, but one to two weeks are feasible. Which is still lightning fast for an individually configured watch. Zara, I would suggest that viewers first get their own impressions of the online configurator and put together their own watch. It's called Flieger Pro on our website and you can find the link in the info box. And with that said, we have already reached the end of this episode. Thank you so much for being here, Zara. And thank you very much for all of you out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and do subscribe to our newsletter so that you don't miss out on anything. With that said, goodbye until next time. Bye.